Welcome to Islam Gram Official, your online guide to exploring the Islamic view of fascinating historical edifices. Today, our journey takes us to the most renowned monuments of Egypt. Let's begin with the pyramids of Egypt. Or they rise majestically from the desert, bearing witness to the grandeur of an extinct civilization. Did it ever cross your mind that these pyramids have a special mention in the Holy Quran? In Qasas, verse 38 of the Quran, it's intriguing how Pharaoh requests for a tower to be built so he could witness the God of Moses. Come along as we encompassed by these ancient structures. Before we delve deeper into the Quranic references, let us take a brief journey back in time and explore the history of these grand edifices. The pyramids, specifically the Great Pyramids of Giza, are one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Built during the reign of the pharaohs, these structures were primarily tombs designed to house the remains of the deceased rulers and their treasures. They represent the pinnacle of ancient Egyptian architectural and engineering prowess, a testament to their understanding of geometry, spatial orientation and physical labor management. Each stone meticulously carved and placed, adding to the grandeur of these structures. But beyond their historical and architectural significance, the pyramids hold a deeper meaning, especially in the context of the Holy Quran. Their mention not only provides a historical backdrop, but also serves as symbols in the narratives and teachings of the Quran. Intrigued? Let's unravel this mystery together. Moving ahead, we find the mention of the pyramids in Surah Al-Mu'minin, the believers. Verse number 39. The translation reads, he said, My Lord, help me because they deny me. The verse refers to the Pharaoh's denial of Prophet Moses' message, a story that is intrinsically tied to the land of pyramids. Then we have Surah Ghafir or Al-Mumin, the forgiver or the believer. Verse number 36 and 37. Pharaoh said, O Haman, build me a tower that I might reach the ways, the ways into the heavens, so that I may look upon the God of Moses. But indeed, I think he is a liar. This verse is a clear reference to the Pharaoh's grand structures, the pyramids. Now let's summarize the key points we've discussed so far. The Quran, in its infinite wisdom, makes a mention of the Egyptian pyramids linking them to the story of Prophet Moses and the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh's denial of the Prophet's message and his extravagant desire to reach the heavens are symbolized in the towering pyramids, an embodiment of his pride and arrogance. The Quran subtly uses these historical structures to convey powerful messages about faith, humility, and the transient nature of worldly achievements. The pyramids, once a symbol of the Pharaoh's power, now stand as a testament to the enduring truth of the Quranic teachings. The Pharaoh, despite his grandeur and might, could not escape the divine justice, a profound lesson that resonates with all of us. This exploration of the Quran's references to the pyramids not only enriches our understanding of the scripture, but also offers a fresh perspective on these ancient wonders. In the grand scheme of things, the pyramids serve as a reminder, a physical symbol of the divine narratives found in the Holy Quran. And in understanding these narratives, we gain a deeper appreciation of the Quran's timeless wisdom. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and remember the truth is out there waiting to be discovered. Before we wrap up, here's a quick reminder. If you've enjoyed this journey through the mysteries of the pyramids and their Quranic references, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps us out. And why not share this video with your friends and family? They might find it as fascinating as you did. Lastly, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning and remember, the truth is out there waiting to be discovered.